Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here at Starbucks. I pulled into a parking space so I could talk to you guys for a second. Since Valentine's Day was two days ago now, I thought it would be a good idea to come to Starbucks and try out all of their St. Patrick's Day themed drinks. I'm gonna be trying out, I think, four or five of them today. Honestly, let's just order these at the window. Let's just get in line. Okay, this is gonna be crazy. Obviously, the line is pretty long because, duh, it's Starbucks. I'm wearing my little green sweater, green earrings. Duh, St. Patrick's Day vibes over here. I know that St. Patrick's Day isn't for like two or three weeks. Making this video would give y'all some inspo. And they're also really pretty. They're green and pretty, and I'm so excited. I feel like a lot of them have matcha in them, which I'm not too much a fan of matcha, but I guess we'll just have to see. Hi, could I just have one minute, please? Okay, I'm like kind of nervous to order these. Okay, so I have uh, four drinks and okay, okay. they're they're kind of a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna try my best. All right, let me strap in here, I'm ready to go. Okay, perfect, thank you. Could I get a tall green tea latte? Okay, tall matcha uh, green tea latte. Um, can I do an iced with coconut milk and two scoops of vanilla bean powder? And then is it is it possible to get a splash of lemonade in that as well? Yeah, of course. Next one is a tall cold brew, a splash of sweet cream, and a splash of half and half, four pumps of white mocha, and two pumps of vanilla bean syrup, or vanilla syrup, um, cold foam on top. What cutting? The sweet cream. Perfect. And then can I get one scoop of matcha in that as well, blended? In the foam? Yeah. We do actually have a matcha foam. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. A tall, do you have a tall in the um, matcha cream frappuccino? Yeah, I can absolutely do a tall matcha cream frappuccino. I do that with two pumps of peppermint syrup if you have it. Got it. Um, blended in java chips. And I'll do whipped cream on that one. Yep, that does typically come with it. Okay, perfect. Get the little caramel crunchies on the top. And one last one, a tall vanilla bean frappuccino. Okay. Two pumps of peppermint, two scoops of matcha powder. I think that's it. Can On that last one, um, the vanilla bean frappuccino, can I get that with some cookie crumbles on the top? Yeah, you got it. Okay, and then that'll be all. Thank you so much. 29, good. You'll see you window. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad. Normally, I don't come to Starbucks and get get that much. Two straws for the two Perfect. frappuccinos. Perfect, thank you. Uh, drink uh, yes, please. Starbucks people are doing the most. We are gonna tip them. I'm gonna try to throw this in their bin. Got it. This is so cute. I'm so excited. What are you up to today? Um, not too much actually. You're looking at my <laughs> You guys look busy. What is it? You guys look pretty busy. Yeah, it comes in the way you're there, stop. Perfect, thank you. I'm actually good. I think that's all, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Hey guys, hopefully this lighting is good. We got the drinks. This one is so freaking pretty. Tall matcha cream frappuccino with peppermint syrup and add frappuccino chips and caramel crunchies on the top. Okay, let's try it. I'm nervous. Stop it right now. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't even like matcha that much, but you cannot tell that there's matcha in here. This one is called the Lucky Leprechaun Frappuccino. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is insane. If y'all have ever had the Shamrock Shake from McDonald's, this is 10 times better. little crunchies on the top and that peppermint taste holy crap okay this one w i would get this again i'm gonna try this one next this one is the called the shamrock tea coconut milk one scoop of vanilla bean powder and then a splash of lemonade let's try it oh my gosh that is so freaking good. I am actually so shocked. I did not think that these were going to be that good. These are so good. I never get matcha here. And you can taste, oh my gosh, like the, 
vanilla mixed with like the lemonade and the it's doing something in my mouth it is doing something Wow, I am so impressed. This one next, and I'm going to save what I think is going to be my favorite for the end. This one is called the Shamrock Frappuccino. So freaking cute. Vanilla bean frappuccino with two scoops of matcha powder, peppermint syrup, one, uh, one scoop of vanilla bean syrup, and cookie crumbles with whipped cream. Let's try it. Stop! Oh my gosh, these are so good. And I'm not even playing. Like, I was going to give you my honest opinion about all of these. Creamy. Mm-hmm. This one. This one might be my favorite right now. Wow. I am just stunned. So freaking good. Wow. I'm hyped because now we get to drink these. This one is by far the prettiest. Look how freaking pretty that is. I was completely unaware that they have matcha cold foam now. Clover Cold Brew is a iced cold brew with two pumps of vanilla syrup, four pumps of white mocha, a splash of sweet cream, and a splash of heavy cream with matcha cold foam. Okay, wait, we got to do a little mixy. I got like straight white mocha. Bro, ow. I have to post this on my story really quick. It's so freaking good. It literally, the only thing I'll say about Starbucks cold brew is that for some reason their cold brew isn't like ice cold. I prefer my drinks to be really, really cold and I feel like if you get this, you should ask for extra ice because I feel like it's a little, like, lukewarm, if that makes sense. I'm going to try this matcha foam. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. This one is so good. I'm going to say my favorite one, though, is definitely Emrock Frappuccino. That one is my favorite. If you're in the mood for something, like, coffee-ish, this one for sure. Try out the matcha foam. I'm the kind of person that, like, when we have certain holidays, like, right after Valentine's Day is St. Patrick's Day. Right after St. Patrick's Day is Easter. Like, I'm the kind of person, even after Halloween, right after Halloween is Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving is Christmas. I didn't get to try out any of Starbucks, like, Christmassy winter drinks. I wanted to try out these St. Patrick's Day drinks because apparently they're on the secret menu and I had no idea. I also drive, like, 40 minutes to get to this specific Starbucks. I don't live near a Starbucks, but... Oh my gosh. All of these drinks are so good. Like, I would get all of these drinks again. I'm pretty sure matcha is, like, healthy, right? If y'all are in the mood for matcha, anything, like, minty, this literally tastes like mint chocolate chip ice cream blended up with whipped cream on top. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try this one just one more time, just because, mm-hmm. Oh, these are so good. I, I would never have thought that coconut milk and lemonade would go together, but they do. So, so beautifully in this drink. I'm just, I'm obsessed. I could not figure out how to order this one on mobile. Because it doesn't give you an option on the app to add lemonade with milk. These girls over here judging me. <laughs> Guys, these St. Patty's Day drinks. Obsessed. Just, just like... Anyone walking around with this drink means business because look how freaking cute that is. I'm all for like pretty drinks. I love getting the pink drink here. I don't normally get Starbucks coffee. I usually get the pink drink. That's like my go-to at Starbucks. But now my go-to drinks are definitely going to be one of these. This one I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 just because it's not as cold as I'd like it to be. The Lucky Leprechaun Frappuccino, I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 because of the caramel crunchies, the java chips, just the taste in general is so good. The shamrock tea, I'm rating this one probably an 8 out of 10. 
I really like the mix of the lemonade and the vanilla and everything about this. The coconut milk. It just, it all mixed so, so well together and I was not expecting it. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. This one is the Shamrock Frappuccino. 10. I'm, I'm going to rate this one actually a 12 out of 10 just because of how creamy and good it is. I really do like the other one with the Java chips blended in. But this one is just so creamy and you have to get the cookie crumbles on the top because I'm telling you. It's giving. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me try out all of the St. Patrick's Day themed drinks from Starbucks. Let me know if there's anywhere else I should try. I definitely think I want to try Dunkin'. And when Chick-fil-A and Wendy's and all of these different places come out with their St. Patrick's Day themed food items, I definitely think I want to try and review them because I love doing videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and definitely if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Definitely leave a like on this video as well. It really does help me out and I really freaking appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.